So it's starting to rain, but I'm going to endeavor to do this fairly quickly. Um, Lucky, our rabbit, French Angora Buck, who in the past has had problems with wool block, where his long fiber will get stuck in his stomach, it won't um, digest through, and it gets stuck in there, and then he feels full, and he won't eat anything, and then he'll starve himself to death. Um, well, this morning he wasn't eating his food, last night he didn't eat his food, I've tried treats, I've tried hay, um, he didn't drink any water, so I think he has wool block again. He has pretty long fiber. Um, we plucked him about two days ago. He got his front half, but then his back half, he kind of has a little skirt. Um, so it is very possible he has wool block, especially because his fur is so long. So we're going to treat him with pineapple juice, but it's raining, and I don't want to get the camera wet, and I don't want to get him wet, but it's only barely sprinkling, so we'll see how we can do. All right, so we have moved into the garage. I decided because it's raining a little bit, um, it'd just be easier to work in here where there's a roof over our heads. Um, so our, and now I have pineapple juice. Um, it's canned pineapple juice. I mean, fresh is always better, but here in Missouri, we don't really have fresh pineapple, especially this time of year. We just have canned pineapple, and so we used the juice from that. And then we also have a plastic syringe we got for like a dollar at Walmart. Um, it goes up to five milliliters. So we are going to give Lucky five milliliters. See, last time I did this, I did five milliliters every half hour for eight hours until he started pooping and eating again. So I don't know if I'm going to do it every half hour or not. Maybe I'll try because he seems he's had this like three or four times like since we've had him. So like he's been well, we've had him for a while, but like he keeps getting wool block and it's very frustrating. But then he keeps getting over it. So I don't know how serious it is or if it's just, you know, he's kind of more prone to it than our other rabbits because none of our other rabbits have problems with wool block like no one has ever had problems except for him so i don't know maybe i'll do it like every hour every two hours instead you know because maybe i don't know so we're gonna try it less often to see if the half hour is super necessary or if it just happened to help i don't know so now i'm gonna bring him on my lap and then force feed him the syringe. Usually the first time we do this, he's pretty good about it, but the more and more we do it, you have to like force his teeth apart and it's kind of hard. So I thought I'd um, film me doing it so you guys can know exactly how I do it and then maybe help helps you do it because if you haven't bottle fed a baby rabbit before, it's pretty hard to do. But once you bottle fed babies, this is a lot easier by far because baby bunnies are so much more little and their mouths are so frustrating. But feeding an adult rabbit, force feeding him is a lot easier. Okay, so here we have Lucky, the rabbit who is having lots and lots of problems with wool block. So we are going to flip him over and I have my syringe filled with five milliliters of pineapple juice. I'm gonna flip him over like we're grooming him in his ears, between my knees, scoot his bum back a little bit. There we go, oh, oh, no, no, no. I know you don't like this, you don't like it. You see, okay. Then, put it in, and he's drinking it, then let him swallow for a little bit. Put it kind of to the side, push against his teeth. He'll start drinking a little bit. Sometimes you have to wiggle it around in there. Good boy. Yes, num num. Oh, yum yum, huh? Okay. So I can't put it right here because his teeth are in the way. So I have to go in at an angle, kind of push his teeth out of the way. And now he's opening his mouth just fine, drinking it. Let him nibble. Sometimes it won't press. I'll just move his mouth so he swallows what's already in his mouth. And just keep going in tiny bits at a time. Let him swallow. Make sure he doesn't get in his nose. If you're holding him kind of facing downwards, I try to like make sure it's like kind of sloping up this way instead of down this way, because then it might get in his nose and cause problems like that. There we go. Come on. Swallow, swallow. Good boy. Good job. Let him stop. Almost done. Almost there, Bubba. Almost. There. Now I'm going to make sure he swallows the last of it. Come on. Good boy. Good job. Oh, good. Oh, good boy. Good boy. So by this point, after treating him four or five times throughout his life that I've had him, 
for wool block. It keeps coming back up. Every few months we'll have problems. So I'm pretty used to this. He's pretty used to this. If you have a rabbit who's never had wool block before, or you've never used pineapple juice to treat him, or if you've never used a syringe to feed him, it might take some getting used to for you. It might get some getting used to for your rabbit. This boy knows, basically, he's pretty good at taking a syringe. Um, the more I do it, probably like at the end of the day when I've done it four or five or six or seven times, um, he'll be more resistant and he'll like clamp his mouth shut and have to kind of force it open. But the first few times he's pretty nice about taking the syringe. So it might take a little more work if it's ra your rabbit is um, first time, but he's doing pretty good. So one good thing, the more you have to treat him, the better, the easier it gets for you to treat him. So even if you do have to treat your rabbit a ton, a ton, a ton like I do, at least they get better at taking their medicine. All right, it's about two hours later. Um, the rain has stopped, so I'm going to be treating him outside this time. Still looks like he hasn't eaten any of his hay, none of his food or the treats in his food, and none of his water. So we're going to treat him again, and hopefully he pulls through. You guys, look. You guys, look, look, look. Look at his bottom. There's poopies everywhere. Oh, good. There wasn't any of these last time, I don't think. Oh, yay. There's poopies. Oh, good. All right. So I'm going to clean his bottom up a little bit and then give him his pineapple. So the second time, he didn't take his medicine quite as easily. I kind of had to force it down at the very end. But he has poopies everywhere. They were kind of squishy. Some of them were hard. Some of them were squishy. Um, they were smaller than regular poops, but there was lots of them. So this is really good. Hopefully this is just a mild case of wool block, and hopefully we can get him eating soon, and we won't have to treat him anymore, and he'll be acting normal again. Now he's still acting kind of just like not moving very much and staying still. Um, he didn't really eat anything or drink anything, but oh, he's having good poops. That's so good. So, well, hopefully he gets better soon. So it's the next day in the afternoon. Let me give you a quick recap about what happened. So last night I gave him another five milliliters of pineapple juice. I noticed again, he had lots of little poops around stuck to his fur. They were hard, like they weren't squishy. They were nice and hard, but um, his fur is so long that it just kind of caught them. There was lots and lots, but they were really small. Not normal size. Then this morning, I came out and checked his food. And we have two papaya tablets there to help, to help aid in digestion. We give them to the rabbits as treats and also help with their wool block. And I noticed the two that he had in his bowl that had been sitting there for a day or two were gone. He had eaten them. So that was a big improvement. So I gave him like three or four more. He ate those, and I gave him like five or six, I gave him like a whole handful, practically, and he ate all of those throughout the day, and so he's eating, he isn't eating pellets very much, he's, he isn't drinking very much water, but he is eating the digestive tablets, which is a good sign, so yeah. So I have stopped the pineapple juice, and he's already had so many digestive tablets, um, we're going to let them just work on his body, let him expel that last bit of fur. I just checked on his bottom right now, and there are no little poops stuck to him. I noticed him cleaning his fur and wool. So we are just going to continue to watch him and see if he starts eating food and water. And then if he's still not doing stuff, we'll give him more tablets. But he's already had plenty for this morning, so we're going to just play it by ear from there. It is two days later, and Lucky is completely fine now. He ate his food yesterday morning, and he ate his food this morning, and he's been drinking water fine. I've been giving him some more papaya tablets, and he's been eating those just fine. He comes up to the cage door and just gobbles them up like normal, and he's doing amazing and great. He is perfectly cured, um, so I'm super excited, and that, and that is definitely a happy ending to this story.